Scott Banks, welcome to Bradford City. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, brilliant. It's uh, obviously been been waiting for it to happen for a little while now, and uh, delighted to be here and, and finally get it done. On a season-long loan, you've had a brief chat with the gaffer. What was that conversation like? What was it that drew you to this club and want you to, what made you want to come and play here? Yeah, no, he's just welcomed to, welcome to to the club, and he's happy that I'm here. Um, he's speaking about like the way we play and and how how we can make a big impact here. And, and for me to just get out and play play league football is so important. And uh, yeah, I thought Bradford, especially with the size of the fan base and, and the caliber of manager, it's a perfect place for me to come. You mentioned that manager coming from a Premier League club. I guess you've got a manager who's only ever managed before Bradford City in the Premier League. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a bit of a natural fit for you in a sense, and you're looking forward to working with him. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, the career he's had is incredible, and uh, to get the chance to, to play under a manager like that is all you can ask for as a young player. And uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to to seeing how he works and, and being around the place and, and, and hopefully performing well for him. You mentioned those supporters as well, over 19,000 at Valley mm -hmm. Parade last Saturday. I guess you're looking forward to, to getting out there, hopefully tomorrow, if not at the weekend, and, and showing what you can do. Yeah, no, that's I, I can't wait for that. I, I watched all the the fan stuff on the first game of the season, and uh, and even the travelling fans were sold out in, in the last game. And yeah, it's something that was massive for me to play in front of as many people as I can, and and that's I think what football's about really. It's about the fans and and the amount, the amount that Bradford get is exceptional and I can't wait for it. What you like as a player, what can the fans come to expect from you on the field? Uh, creative, uh, create chances and, and score goals. That's always been my game and I was able to do that a lot last year and hopefully uh, be able to replicate that um, this season in, in, in League 2. Speak about that time at Palace that you've had, you mentioned scored a few goals last season. Coming off a season like that where you scored 10 goals in just 17 games, Gives you confidence, doesn't it, heading in that you can replicate that same form? Yeah, definitely. I think um, my confidence was, was it maybe it's one of its highest points that it's been uh, last year. It felt like every game I was going to be, be involved in a goal, goal or assist somehow, and, and I just need to try and replicate that, like you say, uh, this year. Um, but I'm coming in with confidence, and yeah, just can't really, can't wait to get started. Really, you've worn the armband as well for Palace's sort of youth ranks in the Premier League too. What experience mm -hmm. does that give you? Your kind of player who comes in and puts that pressure and expectation on yourself to perform and be a bit of a figurehead in that dressing room? Yeah, I think so. Uh, in the 23s, uh, maybe because I played a bit of men's football and stuff, it was something that uh, that they felt I was ready for at the time. And uh, yeah, felt felt like I can I can do that and back myself and self confidence. Obviously, I need to get used to the dressing room here, but the demands that I put on myself will always be the same and and very high. Um, and hopefully, I can. I can yeah, just push myself on and, and perform well right from the start here. Coming in at the start of a week with a game more or less straight away and then another one at home at the weekend, I guess that gives you a little bit of comfort coming in at the start of a week, a bit of a sort of clean slate and time to come in and crack on in a way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect really and also a couple of games at home as well, get used to the home crowd and, and, uh, and my surroundings here for a bit and yeah, it, it works out really well for me and uh, I think can ask for a, a better start and, and fixture tomorrow if I'm involved. Um, it, it's obviously a championship club and a chance to go and, and show what I can do to the, the home fans and then at the weekend uh, hopefully hopefully play and, and make a big impact. What do you want to achieve while you're here? Obviously as a loan player there's a lot of focus on personal development and things like that but I guess coming here and having spoken to the gaffer you want to be a part of something as well as a team. Yeah I think there's obviously that personal uh, development aspect but for me when I'm coming to the club it's it's about the about the team and uh, seeing if we can push that promotion. That's what the gaffer said to me. It was about the draw here. Um, yeah, be be part of a squad that can go and, and play well all together for the for the season and, and hopefully go and achieve something. Do you have a final message for those supporters? Be looking forward to seeing you, Valley Parade tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I hope they're as welcoming as they seem and uh, yeah, hopefully I can put a smile on a few faces.